So good day everybody and welcome again to our What The Wednesday. Today we're going to do a little segment on uh, wild dogs. And we've had a, a few sightings up in our local area over the last couple of months and they're areas that, you know, we haven't seen dogs before or we haven't seen them for a long time, but they they are uh, killing stock, so they are a concern. So I just wanted to bring about some awareness around that. And so today I've got um, Dave Lindsay with me and Dave's our, our um, a local biosecurity officer, senior biosecurity officer at Warri Elder. So just, just wanted to talk with Dave about uh, some of the ways that we can probably first of all monitor uh, for these dogs to, to, to see whether we've got dogs or not and to keep an eye out. So what can you tell us about that Dave? What, what do we look for? And Yeah well um, as you said Tim up in this area around the Warri Elder area it's, be, it, it's become a real emerging problem um, but I don't think it's a problem that, that's only just started. I think that the dogs have been here for a while. Yeah, okay. um, and, the, and the big issue with that was that people just didn't really know what to look for. Yep. Uh, and in the past, we've had a situation where, you know, people will see a, you know, a, a, after a bit of rain, they might see a dog track and, and not really think anything about it, think, oh, you know, maybe the next door neighbours had pig chase, pig dog come over here chasing pigs or... Uh, and then they'll see a few dead sheep and they'll put that down to fly strike or, or you know, sheep just die sometimes and worms maybe. Yep. Not really understanding that, that you know, they're starting to get a dog problem. And then, unfortunately, when the problem does start to arise, it's usually more than one dog around and, and you start to get into a bit of a, bit of a, a problem then. Yep. So... So everyone who's who's got sheep and, and, and they'll they'll affect cattle as well, but but obviously sheep are going to be the main targets. Um, you need to understand a little bit about the dogs, and and dogs will have a a, a general uh, pattern that they'll follow. So they generally like to follow their uh, do a lap right around their territory, and they'll do that on a regular basis. And that can be anything from in this area it can be anything sort of from four weeks to, to probably six weeks, but they'll tend to come back on a regular on a regular basis and, and so you need to if you think you've got dog attacks uh, take as many notes as possible you know whatever information get a book set it aside and if if something's unusual uh, your sheep are all pushed up in a corner one day you don't know why or you're starting to see sheep that are dead or any of that sort of stuff even even cattle producers you know if your cattle are in paddocks knock down a fence that they shouldn't have done take a few notes we need to know the, the days yep, uh, yep. And, and look at, you know, they'll probably be back on a regular basis. So if they come back in five weeks' time, you know they'll probably be back again in, in five weeks after that. Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah. So they're creatures of habit. Definitely creatures of habit. Yep. Um, yep. The other thing you need to be looking for, any wet areas you've got, so around dams, um, along the banks of creeks, that sort of stuff. If you've got a trough and it's leaking a little bit, um, just keep an eye out for dog tracks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whenever you whenever you drive up to a to a spot like you know checking a dam, get out and go for a walk around the dam and just see if there is a dog track. Yeah. A dog track there because yeah. um, it's it's really easy to miss those if you don't take the time and and, and, and go for a look around. Yeah. Um, if you've got cameras, um, not a bad idea to have a few cameras around and yeah. you know not if you if you don't even suspect dogs. It's not a bad idea just to see what's going on out there. Yeah, um, exactly. Yes. What other animals are moving around. So. Yep. Um, yep. No, that's a good point, Dave. Yeah, cameras are certainly ready, available, um, and we do have some um, as a local land service. We we have some that people can use and, and yeah. come and sign out and yeah. and uh, use them if that if if that's of some assistance. So, as a local land service, what else um, do we? have available Dave for assistance in, in, in along the lines as far as dogs go? Oh well obviously we can do baiting yes. um, yep. and, and we at the moment we're supplying meat yep. to uh, to all land holders um, I'm not I, I think that's going to go all through the spring so it's yep. probably a good good thing to get on and, and um, you know we, we can supply you with the meat baits uh, all free of charge with 1080 in them we yep. can supply you with some advice there's also a feral scan app out there that that if you do think you've got some some um, uh, activity there at all, yep. um, 
you can use feral scan right um, you can just download the app and and particularly if you're in a group we can we can actually link all those groups so that that if you think there's dogs in your area um, that can be linked and, and when you put a post up and say well i've seen a dog or i've got a picture of a dog or, or yep. i found a mauled sheep anyone else that's in your group and it'll be closed so any of the people that are in your group get get the notice yes um, yes that will go out to them and, and and they know that the dog's back in the area again and they might want to stake some uh, some activity at the, uh, do yeah some, so some that could be a control. really handy tool to to For monitor sure. yeah like he's, sure. where he's at and, yeah. and his, his time that he's coming around on, on his regular you know trip yeah you can really monitor where he's at and, and where he's heading next yeah, yeah. And, and obviously working in the group is by far the best uh, yeah. best way of doing it um, because the dogs do move on, um, if you're getting um, a problem sheep killed today, yep. the dog might not be there tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. So you need to be, you know, the next person along the line needs to be where he's coming. So, um, so working together, if everyone puts out baits at the same time, you cover a big area, and it doesn't really matter where he is, he's going to have a chance of, um, of, of picking up a bait. Yep. Um, I've had a few people seem to be a bit um skeptical about whether baits are working or not um, but a lot of the time because they're working on their own they're getting the baits out after the dogs have attacked yes. in, in a lot of cases the dog may have moved on and you know they've, they've missed their opportunity so you need to be you need to have your baits out there prior yep yep and of yep. course the other side of of using your reporting using your, your feral scan app and that sort of stuff um, it also gives us information yes and, and with the dogs in this area, around the War Elder area, we've, we've been able to bring uh, a trapper in. Yes. Um, and he's uh, he's going to be working around the area for a little while and helping a few landholders get some traps out. Yep. Um, I think in this area, he's already identified there could be three or more dogs working. Yes, um, right. In, in a particular spot. So, um, yeah. So, if we know what's going on, uh, we can we can help. Um, with whatever that happens to be, yeah. so there's 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 a few things out there that we can. Yeah, that's great. So, no, well, good. Thanks, Dave. That that puts a bit of light on on what we can do. You know, if we we suspect that we've got dogs or you know we're having trouble, um, don't feel like you're alone. I guess like there's there's help out there, and we as the local land service, um, Dave and his team, like they specialise in that thing, that sort of thing. So. Uh, they're always willing to help, and and there and there are some some ways that that we can help and and really make a difference. So um, that's there for, there for everybody. So thank you very much, and uh, that's our what the Wednesday for for this week, and um, we we'll look forward to seeing you all again next week. Thank you.